Rainbow Six Siege is a team-based game. Typically, to be able to progress and do good within ranked, you need to have a 5 stack, which is just a team of 5 people playing together. However, unfortunately like me, you don't have a 5 stack and you have to solo queue. This means you'll be teamed up with a bunch of randoms, making it very hard to coordinate and communicate on how to work together. This usually ends up with you not being able to do good or progress at all within ranked or any other game mode. Luckily, I have some tips that might be able to help you do a little bit better when solo queuing, so hopefully you can get your desired rank or even just win a couple more matches. Starting things off, I want to talk about your mentality when solo queuing. You have to think of things a lot differently than compared to on a team. Typically, you would rely on your teammates for proper callouts to help you out, to get your refrag, etc. But when you're solo queuing, that's all out the window. You only can rely on yourself. All teamwork is out the window for the most part. It's all about you and your capabilities. You should be going into a solo queue being confident that you're able to 1v5 every round of every match. You should know that your team won't help you out at all and you're the only one you could trust. Now yes, this isn't going to be true for every match you get in. Sometimes you'll get good teammates who actually communicate and will want to work as a team. That brings me to my next tip, which is if you get in matches with people that actually do communicate and want to work as a team, then add them. Who knows, they might add you back and now you have another person to play with instead of just being a solo. Over time, if you do this enough, you'll eventually have a 5 stack. Moving on, another tip I want to give is to play as a solo, you have to work as a solo. That means you should consistently be watching your own back and getting as much information for yourself as you can. Always watch the cams when you defend to see where the enemies are and where they're attacking from. Then on attack, always use your drone to see where the enemies are defending from. Information is extremely important to your success, not only when solo queuing, but just playing Siege in general. The more information you have, the better. Calling out that information to your teammates is also extremely important to your success in Siege as well. If your team isn't communicating to you, still communicate to them. Give consistent callouts on any information you have on enemies, where you're going to attack from, where you're going to watch or do while defending, etc. Any information you find, relay it to your teammates. Trust me, it might just save you the round. Good job. Also, who knows, by communicating with your team, someone else might start communicating as well, and now you can start playing like an actual team. Additionally, when solo queuing, you have to choose operators that are best for you, not your team. You should be thinking of yourself as a one-man army who's able to take out all the enemies, and to do so, you're going to need an operator who can help you with that. Having a good gun, preferably with a 1.5 scope or higher, as well as someone who could gain information is a great pick. So for example on attack, Ayana is a fantastic operator to choose. She has a great gun with a 1.5 scope, grenades, and she could gain a lot of information on the enemy 
with her clone. On the other side of things, for defense, Mozzie is a great pick because you have a good gun, in my opinion, that has a 1.5 scope. You also have a nitro, and you could use his gadget to hack drones, which could gain you information if you use the drones in the right places. There's plenty more operators that are great picks to help you out, like Legion, Valkyrie, and Capcam, just to name a few. Choosing the right operator will help you to take out more enemies and win more rounds. Likewise, another great tip I could give when solo queuing is to always see what angles your teammates are holding and use that information to try and hold a different angle. For example, if you have a teammate watching red stairs and you are also watching red stairs, then try watching something else. Like maybe nobody's watching the hatch, so you can rotate over to hatch and watch that instead. This will allow for more entryways to be covered so that enemies don't sneak up on you. So next time you're watching something, make sure you don't have a teammate also watching that way as well. I'm holding the same angle as Doc, I just realized that, so I'm gonna look over here instead. Moreover, sound is survival in a game like Siege. Hearing key audio can be the difference of life or death. When solo queuing, or honestly even if you're on a team, I suggest doing things such as breaking glass on the windows. This allows you easily hear when an enemy is on a raffle near the window, which in return allows you to get the drop on them. I'm gonna shoot the glass here so I can hear the raffle. It's a great sight to get it. Because there's so many windows. You know the glass is broken because you hear the glass. Shoot you. Remember, sound is everything, so anything that could benefit you at all, you'll want to use. Finally, the last tip I can give when solo queuing is on defense you should play off the site for most sites. The reason being is if everyone is grouped up on the site, then you're just a bunch of animals in a cage. The attackers can easily get map control when everyone is just sitting on the site. So like everything else, you have to take matters into your own hands and play off-site so you could try and prevent the attackers from gaining map control. Alright, so I'm gonna go hit a room. First thing is since we're in the basement, I'm gonna reinforce the hatches. And watch out for any drones. successfully roam clear now it's time to go back to site a good way to know where to roam is after the prep phase check the cameras if a camera gets destroyed next to a certain spawn then you know they are most likely attacking from there using the information you could try to hold down the area for as long as you can in conclusion these are some of the best tips i could give when solo queuing in rainbow six siege from having the right mindset to using the right operators, there's a lot of things you could do to make solo queuing a little bit easier. Remember, at the end of the day, Rainbow Six Siege is a team-based game. So always try your best to form a team so you could really play the game how it's supposed to be played. Trust me, I do know it's a challenge because I myself still solo queue, so I do understand the struggle. Anyways, that's it for me. What are some tips you would give to help someone when solo queuing in Rainbow Six Siege? If you have any, then please comment them down below. If you liked the video, then please give it a like. And if you want more content like this, then subscribe. Have a great day, everyone.